Hello everyone, Ron Johnson here from LTL Tutoring Central and it's story time. Well, uh, specifically I'm reading a couple of poems this time by Canadian author Wilfred Campbell. He was born in Kitchener, which was then called Berlin, Ontario, Canada in 1858 and he died in 1918. And these poems are dated 1889. Uh, they're nature poems and I would recommend listening and or reading them several times. The thing with poetry is there are many layers and on a first reading you you probably are not going to pick up everything that's available to you because there there's a lot that you can gain from poems if you sort of listen carefully. So that's the other thing, no need to be pedantic. Enjoy the rhythm, enjoy the language and the visuals that the poems give you, particularly descriptive nature poems like the two that I'm going to read in this video. Try to absorb the poems like music first because that will give you a great deal of enjoyment. I know that sometimes when students are studying poetry in school, there is a lot of um, very academic work, which tends to suck the joy out of poetry completely. And I think that's why a lot of people don't enjoy poems. They don't love them because they think that there's a specific meaning and a very deep and very complicated uh, semantics and you have to understand everything about uh, poetry. You don't. Uh, enjoy it first and then you can actually enjoy looking for similes and metaphors and assonance and all of those things uh, if you want to, but you don't even have to go there. So let's get started with uh, Wilfred Campbell and a couple of his nature poems. Indian Summer by Wilfred Campbell. Along the line of smoky hills, the crimson forest stands and all the day the blue jay calls throughout the autumn lands. Now by the brook, the maple leans with all his glory spread and all the sumacs on the hills have turned their green to red. Now by the great marshes wrapped in mist or past some river's mouth throughout the long still autumn day, wild birds are flying south. The Higher Kinship by Wilford Campbell. Life is too grim with anxious eating care to cherish what is best. Our souls are scarred by daily agonies and our conscience marred by petty tyrannies that waste and wear. Why is this human fate so hard to bear? Could we but live with hill lakes, silver starred, or where the eternal silence leaneth toward the awful front of nature, waste and bare? Then might we, brothers to the lofty thought and inward self-communion of her dream, into that closer kin with love be brought, where mighty hills and woods and waters wan, moon paved at midnight or godlike at dawn, hold all earth's aspirations in their gleam.